Putin is currently extremely close to losing Crimea, Russians prepare for landing of Ukrainian army. The famous British journalist Tom Sharp is convinced that the illegitimate president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, is currently extremely close to losing the occupied Ukrainian Crimea. Crimea is currently fed by two arteries, the Kirsch Bridge and a new railway line, which are within the range of American ATACMS missiles. According to Tom Sharp, it is quite possible that the armed forces of Ukraine do not need to risk the lives of their soldiers to deoccupy the peninsula. The journalist of the Telegraph tabloid suggested that all that is needed is to block the enemy's supply arteries, increase the pressure and wait until the missiles, ammunition and main supplies of the Russian army run out. After that, the expert suggests that Ukraine will watch the bills mount, as the dictator will be forced to burn resources to hold onto the peninsula, achieving nothing but a propaganda loss. And to this, the factor of inconvenience and Crimea will become not just a significantly reduced operational base, but a negotiating point of strategic importance for the entire conflict. Tom Sharp emphasized the Russians are already preparing for the landing of the armed forces of Ukraine in Crimea. The head of the Mejlis of the Crimean Tatar people, Rifat Chubarov, told journalists about this. According to the politician, the occupiers were afraid that there was currently a serious threat of the landing of the armed forces of Ukraine. They came to this conclusion after analyzing the armed forces strikes against Russian army air defense and logistics facilities. And based on the fact that the vast majority of the ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet have been relocated to ports on the territory of Russia itself, the enemy has decided that there is now a greater threat to him in terms of a possible landing by the armed forces of Ukraine, explained the head of the Mejlis. Put a mark for 2029. Germany prepares for possible war with Russia. Build. Germany is actively preparing for a possible war with Russia because it believes that by 2029 optimal conditions will be created for Russia to start a war with NATO. Build reports citing a statement by the Inspector General of the German Armed Forces, Carsten Brewer. You must put a mark in your diary for 2029. There is still a lot of work to be done by then. We must be ready too, he told young soldiers speaking at a military school. He also believes that in five to eight years, Russia will have about 1.5 million soldiers. This is approximately twice the number of troops deployed by Putin in Ukraine. At the same time, the publication noted that the Bundeswehr currently has 181,500 soldiers, which is 20,000 less than the target number of 203,000 soldiers. Therefore, the German authorities are considering the possibility of reinstating compulsory military service. In addition, BILD analyzed the military equipment reserves of two countries. According to the publication, Germany has less than 300 battle tanks, while the Russian Federation currently builds about 1,500 battle tanks per year. The German army also has a record low ammunition supply, which is enough for only two days. It is noted that this is a violation of NATO requirements, according to which ammunition must last at least 30 days. The government has already developed the Operational Plan Germany, a document that describes how the military architecture of Germany should be built before the start of a possible military conflict. Germany's main task is to ensure the deployment and supply of fuel, food and medicine to NATO forces, BILD reported. As reported earlier, President Vladimir Putin attacked NATO with threats. The Russian leader's spokesman Dmitry Peskov once again accused the West of the fact that the bloc is de facto fully involved in the conflict in Ukraine. At the same time, the alliance's Secretary General, Jens Stoltenberg, believes that Russia will not attack NATO now because it is completely immersed in the war against Ukraine. We do not see any immediate military threat against any of the Allies since Russia is now fully immersed in the war against Ukraine, he stressed. Go, 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 go